Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and today we're taking a first look at the Lenovo IdeaPad K1. This is an Android 3.1 honeycomb tablet with a 10-inch screen and a base price of $499 for a 32GB model. There's also three color variations, white, black, and this red one here. In terms of design, the IdeaPad isn't the thinnest or the lightest or the biggest or the smallest. It just sits solidly in the middle. The two-tone back is a nice touch, although the plastic portion can get a little smudgy. You also find a 5 megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel on the front. You also notice that there's a home button on the front, which is somewhat odd considering that Honeycomb keeps all of its navigation controls on the screen. One cool thing about the button though is that if you swipe down on it, you can use it like a back key for quickly backing out of menus. Other features here include an HDMI out, headphone out, and a dock connection for charging. On the side here you get a physical lock for screen orientation, volume keys, power button, microphone, and a door here for a micro SD memory card. Now what makes this tablet slightly different from the rest is the amount of pre-installed apps and Lenovo's Android customizations. Lenovo gives you around 30 apps to play around with right out of the box and they're not bloatware. You get Netflix, Angry Birds HD, Documents to Go, Kindle, Slacker Radio, Need for Speed, and they're all here fully installed. You'll also notice this unique launch pad right here on the home screen. This gives you quick access to any of your four favorite apps and can be customized to your taste. Lenovo also added this app wheel interface over here on the side for quickly jumping into your recently used apps. All in all, this is another solid honeycomb tablet, although it's not breaking much new ground, especially in terms of design. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, and that was a first look at the Lenovo IdeaPad K1. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high-tech and high-performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, cnet.com slash cartechtv.